Okay, good. So um, when we've been in our sessions, um, we've done all sorts of things, haven't we? So we've, we've talked a lot, as we know. We always talk a lot. Um, but I remember something that really, really stood out to me is when you were talking about mindset. Um, so for mindset in terms of when you're recording your calories. So you were saying about how on the weekends you were going six or 700 calories over. Um, but you were under it like the rest of the week and and you were trying to get your head around how to not beat yourself up on the weekend because you were making it up another way so just talk to me a little bit more about that in terms of how your mindset has changed through this whole weight loss process yeah I think the main thing is that um that mentality that like if you go over at a certain point then that's it and then you know in cheat days and things like that so I can eat as much as I can in one day I've kind of forgot that and um not forgot it because it's always there and you hear people say but I think I kind of feel now like because I've done other diet you know other calorie counting type other. things others <laughs> yeah um branded ones and you know like it's demonized to have a Kit Kat or I like a Kit Kat or to have a glass of wine so now I kind of feel like even if I can't cut the calories for that day because I'm hungry and I still want that chocolate bar in the evening, I can have it because at the weekend or throughout the week, you can make up for it. And actually, if you're having a Kit Kat that's 200 calories, making that back is really not that hard. Like, yeah. it, you know, like 50 calories a day, you know, for me, that's like a cup of tea. Um, you know if I measure all my milk and things like that so I think it's just changed it's firstly changed that whole um, you know I want to have a blowout kind of thing uh, I'm not saying that that doesn't kind of you don't feel like that every now and again but yeah and I think I've started to realize like you say with your help that I eat more at the weekends so actually don't sit there on a Monday and Tuesday thinking right okay I've got 500 calories left because that's often what happens to me now I kind of eat through the day and um, I like a bigger meal in the evening so I've recognized that mm. so I make sure that I eat smaller meals and smaller calories during the day because I like to save them and yeah. I always like you know um, what works for you. you know your habits better now don't you that's that's yeah. where you're at with it and I was never that person that really always wanted a chocolate bar in the evening but mm. I kind of quite like that now yeah. but I um I don't make sure that I absolutely hit my calories every day if I go under it's fine because I know by the weekend I want something like like when everyone else is eating pizza um I'm now like well I can actually have pizza because I can have a Domino's and I just eat the lower fat cheese and I have a veggie rather yeah. than you know palm and pineapple or something like that so there are ways around it and yeah. and it how how did you find that at the start as well because I know we went through the whole kind of uh pizza breakdown as I call it if you remember <laughs> way back when where um you're like I've had Domino's and then fast forward to now you, you know you've got you love your food guide and you've, you've gone through that and looked at the Domino's thing and you can see actually what works within and yet it isn't something to do all the time as we discussed earlier today it's one of those things where you know I'm not going to eat rubbish all the time but you know that you're able to do that and that gives you a bit of flexibility doesn't it but yeah do you remember way back when when you were going through that oh my god yeah <laughs> but, but I think again that step back from that mindset that you know I've ate a pizza it's too many calories it doesn't fit in my calories therefore everything is over therefore I may as well eat more calories and start yeah. again on Monday and eat salad on Monday oh, yeah you don't do that anymore well no because um, actually like having a weekend last weekend where I ate a bit more and knew that I was and wrote it down and when you look at it you think actually I'm not gonna I'm not gonna put weight on from that little bit of going over and and actually to make it back would have not cost me much at all a couple of hundred calories a day which to be honest I'm under most days yeah. by the way you've done you've done amazingly you really have and I think what's really important to <laughs> to know is is how far you've come but not not just in tracking so that isn't what it's all about all the time but you wouldn't we call it winning in different ways I guess so um just before we went into this lockdown you smashed out your, your press-ups you were able to do the next progression up uh, what else have you found in terms of that like, what are the wins I mean like what about you know kind of clothes fitting things like that I mean recently you, just explain a little bit more about that if you can over the wins you've had I yeah I got to send a large bath. <laughs> Boo hoo. 
<laughs> and like it's stupid things like that because I haven't shot there for years because I just label or well, boohoo it's like top shop there's no point shopping there because their size is so small that even the size that I think I am um or the biggest size they do is not equivalent to mm -hmm the same size in another shop so you just kind of I think you go down these are the shops I'm going to shop in and yeah like order a hoodie and order the extra large sent that back ordered a large sent that back and now I'm in a medium I can't believe it. it's not even a men's and not even a plus size so it's it I think it's for me it's um starting to realize the different wins as well so I always thought the only thing was weight because again I've been conditioned to you know I've come and I've weighed in I've lost weight and I've lost five pounds so that must equal good and I've had a good week yeah. or I've ate obsessive, back. Weren't you? like borderline obsessive in fact no yeah. completely obsessive yeah yeah like um eating something and then weighing myself straight away or weighing myself three times a day or you know on weigh-in day kind of weighing mm -hmm. yourself three times to, to try and figure out what it's actually going to say when you get to a class um and uh, like if, if you had a bad week and you had some chocolate which you're not really supposed to have on this particular said plan <laughs> um and then so you went, kind. <laughs> yeah and then you lose some weight and you think oh well I got away with that so I can do that again next week and it's all the wrong the wrong things to think um and now I think it, it's weird because I'm not focusing so much on what the scale say because people, you know, a lot of people, my friends have said to me, oh my God, you've lost so much weight. And I've said, I actually have lost a stone, which doesn't sound like yeah. so much weight to me. And that's but, been over a year, hasn't it? And you yeah. know what, it hasn't all been plain sailing, has it? What, well, you know, um, I've but done I've, really well considering as well. I'm noticing differences in my legs. So my legs are a lot slimmer than they were and... um so and I'm fitter so that's quite interesting like doing the fitness tests I was thought oh my god these are the worst things ever like why would anyone want to do this but <laughs> you know going from zero press-ups to, <laughs> to 25 today and that's just amazing um and I don't think you you definitely don't get that when you train on your own because I don't think you can push yourself as much and it's that like working with somebody and wanting to prove mm. that you're trying really hard you push yourself more yeah um, other things are for me that not being that bothered when the scales don't move that's been massive for me um because before it was all about weight so if my scales don't move I'm kind of like okay that's fine because they might move next week or actually they might go up yeah. but you know it's and it's that where I want to be in a month's time and having those mini goals that that's more important but the the major thing is um I think when I've been losing weight before I've been so obsessive not just about the weigh-in but I've got to the point where I know I've sat in meetings at work and all I've been thinking about is I can't believe I've just said that I can't yeah. believe I've got a pound on uh, like I'm overweight I'm so fat this is so depressing and I don't I don't honestly it was just taking up too much of my life like every second of every waking minute I felt like I was thinking about how to lose weight and I must be good and I must not eat that whereas now because I know I can eat a pack of biscuits as long as I count them and then you know that's probably my lunch and my, my breakfast all in one but I can have that every now and again um so I don't obsess over it as much I don't even think now I just kind of I look at food and I go right okay is that worth it um is it yeah. like, is and it's it not the enemy it's not the enemy you know you can eat yeah. what you want obviously we're looking more so going forwards um with your journey now we're going to look more at um kind of your macros because we we needed to, it wasn't about fixing all the problems in one go was it it was like one thing at a time and you know what you've done it through a pandemic <laughs> yeah like just putting that in perspective and you've done it I've been here telling you what to do, but if, if we take you, although if we take you back to the uh, step challenge that we did um, back in the first lockdown, um, you won that challenge, didn't you? Yeah. yeah. And I can't remember how many it was in total, but you were smashing like 20,000 steps a day sometimes. And you know what? The, what was really interesting, I know you won't mind me sharing this, is um, 
you're you're eating and you're tracking you're kind of taking a complete back step it was like no we're not paying attention to that but you committed to getting those steps in and actually you kind of you actually maintained um even though you were probably going over your calorie goal and then now now you know what you know about stepping and you're like 15,000 yeah whatever I can smash that um and and twinning that with what you've learned now and the habits that you've gained you are just yeah. on you know the rocket path well, I think that's it isn't it and um you know you go to you could go to a slimming group and it's well you just follow this simple you just follow this plan you only eat these certain things you don't ever eat oh, chocolate or crisps because they're terrible you know you could maybe eat pretend crisps made out of fried aubergine or something <laughs> bizarre or mashed potato um but you don't you don't eat these things you eat these things simple but it, i've realized it isn't that simple and it's all of that that's added up to lots of stress and lots of bad thoughts so it's actually mm. the weight loss is kind of the end bit it's figuring out you know like I'm never going to be that person that wants to go and play basketball of an evening for fun it's just never ever going to be me yeah. <laughs> and like I think we've accepted that and we've accepted like uh, okay I've had to go but I'm never going to be a marathon runner. I just think I could put a million pounds on that and I'd be quite, I'd be okay. But I do quite, I, I can I can manage walking and I don't mind walking. So we've kind of, it's those little things, finding something that I can do that fits in as well with like long hours at work and dark mm -hmm. nights. There's no, again, no point committing to something that you can't do. Um, so I think that's good you know I know I don't like aerobics classes so there's no point committing to that because I know that I just wouldn't do it apart from that one Zumba can't uh, one uh, dancey Zumba class you did with me yeah you love that didn't you yeah I did like <laughs> I don't mind as long as people don't laugh at me when I'm going the wrong <laughs> remember people care more about what they're doing not what you're doing but, but yeah just to, just to finish this off really I just want to know what what do you think that you have learned most about yourself like aside from the obvious i know i can lose weight i know i can do steps or like what do you think is the most poignant thing for you that you've learned um i'm not as unfit as i thought there's quite a few things i'm not as unfit as i thought and i'm getting fitter so i might not be um the size i you know like i think unrealistically i was thought in a year i'd be super thin i'd have lost four stone i think now I realise that that's unrealistic, but um, I've learned that I'm fitter. So this is not just like making me thin, it's making me healthy as well. That's, that's what it's about, isn't it? Is getting more out of it than just the the thing we kind of assume is, is the thing that we're all working towards. And you know what, you, you have been, like, honestly, you've been amazing. I really appreciate you talking to me about this because it's, I think it gives a bit of an insight. I can sit here and go, you will feel this and you will feel that, but ultimately, you communicating that out there just shows that it really is although you're getting the personal training it's a lot more than that it's yeah uh, it's yeah. definitely experience for both parties put it that way yeah. and it's been quite fun you know <laughs> but you look great so keep up the good work and uh yeah i'll see you for our next session yeah <laughs> love it <laughs>